All right, we are about ready to color our Easter eggs. So we've got plenty of, of hollow eggs now. So let's go ahead and uh, add some color to them. Okay, now we're going to color the egg. And what I'm going to use for that are watercolor pencils. I've never used watercolor pencils until about a week ago, and they're really quite unique. Um, if you want to make your eggs colorful and you don't like the smell of vinegar, why don't you pick yourself up a set of these? You might be surprised. Anyway, I'm going to make a sketch here, and I think I'm going to do a birdhouse. Now, I don't know how much you can actually see, but I'm going to make, hopefully, what's going to look like a little bird. And there are different ways to use these, these pencils. Um, right now, I'm just coloring it as though I'm coloring in a coloring book. But my page just happens to be an eggshell. But once I color that in, I then need to wet it to blend the color. And be careful not to use too much water because it will drip, which is why it's a good idea to keep a couple of Q-tips that can absorb some of the water or some of the moisture. And I'm learning all this as I go. Again, I never even touched any kind of watercolor paint until a week ago when I bought these. But I really like them. Okay, now I've colored the egg, but I want a little more saturation, so here's another trick I've learned in the week I've been using these pencils. If you want a more saturated color, dip the pencil itself into the water. Now on the side here, I want it to actually look like it has some dimension, so I really want to make it darker. Again, I've wet my pencil, and you can see the color just kind of popping. Now, I don't know if the camera's picking it up, but do you see the rich, the richness coming out of the rich? Now, examine, egg examine the contrast between the front of this little birdhouse and the side. Now I've got some rich color there. I'll blend it in a little bit more with my paintbrush. Looking good. 
So, what are some more egg words? Egghead. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. So, just to let you know, when you're using watercolor pencils, you can do any number of designs that you want. Let me show you a few that I've made. Here I made a, like a mailbox and the mailboxes are kind of cool because you can personalize them by putting people's names or their house numbers on them. Here I just made a design that kind of looks like a field with a tree and a little bunny. Here I've made an American flag. This one is for my son-in-law, Dave. Here I put some dogwood flowers on an eggshell. And a bunny. And when you do the birdhouse, you can put a house number of somebody that you know. And again, here, here I put my parents' last name. So you can do anything that you want. When I was done painting these eggs, I then took like a spray sealer um, to seal the watercolor paint in so that if any moisture hit the egg, it wouldn't run. It basically is protecting the egg. You can do anything you want. Anyway, I hope you enjoy coloring your eggs as much as I enjoyed coloring my eggs. There's a little field. Some dogwoods. A little crooked birdhouse. Remember, I'm no artist. <laughs>